All right, so we've been reviewing. Uh, yesterday we went from grams over, whoops, come on, over to moles, over to moles, and over to grams. Okay, if you weren't here, what I'm talking about is a little map we have on our periodic tables, like right here all these boxes. And we said the other day that the number of steps, which were the arrows, like one, two, three, that helped us determine the size of the periodic table. One, two, three. You okay with that idea? So when we go from grams of given to grams of unknown, it takes three steps. When we first started, we went from moles of given to moles of unknown, and that was one step, and that was just the easy picket fence. Then the next day, we went grams to moles or moles to grams, and both of those required two. You sort of with me? Okay, and then we did three. What we're going to do today is we're going to go from, just put it right there. You're good right there. Thank you. Yep. We're going to incorporate volume today into our picket fences. Most kids, they don't dislike this one because volume is really nice. It always has this ratio. And you don't have to like add up parts. It's just 22.4 liters per one mole of the same thing. Okay, I'll write it bigger. So whenever we have one mole of a gas, it will always occupy 22.4 liters of the same gas. You kind of with me? All right, the only thing we'll do with this ratio is sometimes the 24 will be on top, sometimes the 24 will be on bottom. It just depends on what we are given and where we need to put it into the process. You okay with that? So looking here, we're gonna start on page 11, maybe 12. I never remember. And we're going to go from moles to liters. So everyone look at the screen for a minute. We're going to go from moles to liters. You should write liters in there. See how I wrote that in red? Write that on your map real fast. Now, the way I teach this, you don't really have to depend on the map that much. The way the other two do, they use the map on every problem. And if you like the map, it's good. I have no problem with that. Um, I just teach it different. So if we were going to go from given moles to liters, which is up here, it would take two steps or two vertical lines. You with me? If I was going to go from liters to moles, it would be from here to here, and it would take two steps, and they'd be different ordered, but I can still do them. Okay? All right. Is this the right equation? It is. We've done this one a ton. We did it yesterday. It's two, six, eight, ten. Or if you want to reduce it, which I will this time, it's one, five, three, four. Ooh, man, my eyes today. All right. And I don't know why I didn't cut the whole problem, but I can read it. Yep, please go. Um, so it says, if you have 50 liters of O2, all right, where do we always put the thing that I give you? At the start, correct? So I'm going to put 50 liters of O2. Okay, now hopefully we've learned the process good enough that we know what must be the denominator of the next thing. What's on the bottom over here? Okay, you're quiet today. I heard, thank you. This unit's gonna be liters, which is new to us, but we don't really care. All right, we have this ratio right here. It says that we have 22.4 liters for every one mole of oxygen. I'm gonna get it, Jess, don't worry. All right. Then look at that same ratio and you'll notice it's always tied to something. It's tied to one mole of the exact same thing. 
I am teaching. That's how good I am. <laughs> I am always moving. Follow me. Follow me. Never. All right. So what would we put up here? One mole of the same thing. You good with that? All right. Tell your partner what you think will be the bottom of the next one. All right, you are probably correct. The bottom of the next thing is moles of O2, right? You feel better now? Oh, I didn't look. You never know who's like blood. Like, okay, we're good. Okay, I'll tell you that. Peroxide didn't feel on my dry skin or didn't feel good, I mean. Okay, so down here we would have mole of O2. Then, like we've always done, if I get stuck, which I don't know what goes here, but I know it matches the answer. All right, there we go. So I look and I don't have the answer in front of me. What did it ask for? moles of C3H8. So that would be mole C3H8. I find a one, I find a five, and I'm ready to go. Does that process make sense? What? The 22.4 is the ratio right here. Whenever I go liters and moles, it's always 22.4 liters per one mole with me and that will never change that's why kids like this one what that's just a constant in our universe if you take anything and you heat it up to turn it to a gas and you have one mole in it it always occupies the same volume which is crazy but it does okay so anytime look Anytime in the picket fence you have liters, it's going to be 22.4, and the other half is going to be one mole. Now, it can be flipped, could be on top, because it will be. If I want liters in my answer, the top right is going to be 22.4, and one would be on the bottom. Okay? So this is like the other day. Don't memorize that 22.4 goes here. Memorize that the unit here goes there. Okay, what do we end up with here? It's like, uh, 0.45. Okay, these these questions, if you're solving for moles, is usually small. If you're solving for liters is usually really big. Okay. Okay. Um, so already, let's turn back to the homework. So page fifteen. Or was there another one? Okay. So is it page 15? Okay, sweet. So C4. Oh, wow, I don't have it. That's okay. I can put it right here. All right, so we have C H4. Go ahead, Mary, I got the rest plus oxygen goes to CO2 plus water. Balance that and I'll just cut and paste it in. Bless you. All 
All right. Now, some of these will be one way, some will be the other, but hopefully we feel good about the process by now. So, uh, this one is a, let's see, I know this is a two. So it's one, two, one, two, right? Okay, then I'm going mole to liter, which means I need two vertical lines. And then I'm ready to go. Okay, don't do it then. I always put my given right here. And that's methane. Good. Okay. Then you're all ahead of me. Like, Kathy, you're looking at me like, I'm already done. Liters, if it's here, it has to go down and over, right? So we have 22.4 liters, because we always have that. If it's liters in the picket fence, it's always 22.4. And that is of CH4. And then the 22.4 liters is always tied to one mole of the same thing. So what must be down here? Mole CH4. Okay, I'm asking you to solve for moles of O2. So up here I have mole. O2, and I have a two and a one, and I'm ready to roll. Fair enough. Set up right. Good. Who has it set up right? Okay. Then, um, I don't know, it's around one fifth, isn't it? What'd you get? What? Point two. Huh, that's around one fifth. 0.2 moles of O2. It's pretty hard being so smart. You're used to it probably too. Okay. I'll help you with this one. Acid rain is formed from the composition reaction of these two things. It's literally just those two things put together. And that's nice. If it's just two things that were apart together, it's just once. All right, go ahead and give them a shot. I will tell you, I, I wrote the equation for this one. Um, oh, I, wow, Tom. Ever since I screwed up in that game, I keep screwing up. Um, the bottom one, number 48. It's not exactly the same. This time it wants liters. I forgot to unpause or resume the recording. Um, well, hopefully anyone following along at home got that right. You're all heroes. And <laughs> I'll talk you through this one now. Sound good? Um, okay, okay, Tom. What is up? It's not my A game today. So we have to balance this one. I never balanced it for you. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. You have two oxygens here, six oxygens here. So I just got to put a three right there. 
Was there any other change necessary? 113? Did I do it right? Okay. You just felt some disturbance and some attitudes right there. Gary, is that a mushroom on your periodic table? Do you do drugs? Okay. Just saying, you must watch the Smurfs. Okay, you're just really good at drawing mushrooms. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know you were so edgy. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. 34 moles of this. I'm not going to write that. So I'm calling this A. You okay with that? So 34 moles of A. This time, don't put 22.4 liters right here because does that say liters? No, it doesn't. It says moles. Follow the process. Don't think, oh, 22.4 always goes there. No, it doesn't. So I have one mole of A. Then right here, I don't know what goes there. So let's work backwards. It wants liters of O2. So this is going to be 22.4 liters of O2. And that's going to be per every one mole of O2, which means this must be the three from here, mole of O2. And this is a big number. It was in the 2000 range, right? 2,000, two, 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 eight, four, whatever it was. Now you may remember about 10 minutes ago, I said moles is usually small, the liters is usually pretty big. So don't panic um, on the exam. When you solve for liters, don't panic. It, it will be a big number. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, who had two, two, eight, four? Raise your hands. All right, it's doable, right? We've learned the process finally. So nothing should surprise us now. Nothing should like be rigid besides that these always match, these always match, and those always match. Okay, so of course, let's move on to something harder. But it's, I, I should not have said harder. We're just gonna add another step. We're gonna combine gram and liter now. So don't panic, just look right here. I'm going from grams to liters. So that would be one, two, three steps or a picket fence with three vertical lines. And I'm just going to follow the process. So I got Li plus O2, I really don't have these. What, oh, how cute is that one? I forgot, oh. I was bored one day. Anyone ever gotten bored one day in class and just made borders? Yeah, I guarantee you have. Okay, so here we go. Let me, I'll just drop the problem in here real fast. And then you try and balance it if you haven't already. I know it's kind of an insult to your intelligence. Like Davidson, I can balance that in my sleep. Okay, that's pretty big. Oh, I didn't need that garbage on the bottom. Okay, um, are we ready? I'm gonna use the magic of technology to get this part to disappear. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna look dumb as I have all morning. Okay, here we go. So Li plus O2 goes to Li2O. Ooh, I'm gonna put a two here. I'm gonna put a four here, and I'm gonna put a one here. Four, one, two. Uh-oh, is that not good, Grace? Oh, you're just on the wrong page? Yeah. Page 11. Page 11, everybody. Page 11. I know it's confusing. Oh, come back. All right. On page 11, we are asked, this is really bad. Oh my laws, Tom, you get with the program. For 
one, two. Okay, if 23 grams of lithium, I know I put my starter right there, are reacted how many liters of oxygen? Liters of O2. Hey, I know right here then it's gonna be 22.4 liters, right? Per one mole of O2. I'm just gonna leave that right there because I know whenever I have liters, I don't have to look something up, it's just 22.4. Okay, now, here we go, nothing bad. Um, we've done this before, the unit right here must be right here. And then the unit right here must be right here. And the unit right here must be right here. And then this one, which I already did, that's an ugly color combination, but it's gonna match right there. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the black. Well, I'm already in red, I'm in trouble. Okay, here we go. 23 grams of Li, which means this must be grams of Li. Hopefully the last 48 hours of doing this, you're pretty good at finding masses. The grams of Li is a seven grams. And anytime we find grams on the periodic table, it's tied to who? One mole of the same substance, right? That means what must come down here? A mole of Li, which has a four in front of it. And then these match, so I know the green, this must be mole of O2. That's hideous, but it says mole of O2. And that's a one, and I'm already ready to go. 23 times 22.4 divided by 28. I do enjoy your picket fence you drew on there though, Gary. That's well drawn. Right here, right here. Is that a real picket fence? Oh, okay. And did you freehand that star? You got skills, my friend. Yeah, I know Shelby, he probably can't draw a volleyball. Only a select few can draw a volleyball correctly. It's hard. I challenge all of you in your spare time to try and draw a volleyball. Not right now. She's gonna do it without looking. <laughs> All right, we, so I don't know. Let me see if Tom's math is good. This is a number that's like 18. What was it? 18 what? I just, do you guys respect every day being in the presence of an absolute mega genius? I hope so. Now, let me teach you some head math. This is 23 times 22, and I'm going to divide it by 28, right? So 22 over 28 is just barely a little bit under one, right? So you're just going to divide, or sorry, you just divide it by a little bit over one, and then one like 1.2, 1.3. And my head math made no sense to anyone probably, but you can estimate pretty good. I mean, I was at 18. Now, second hour, if I say 18, they're gonna be like, well, you just figured it out first hour. And that's true, but I didn't figure this out. I did this last year. Yeah, I'm a genius. Um, okay. Hey, look, it was here the whole time. Speaking of geniuses. Okay, maybe I'm not as smart as I feel. Okay, page 16 now. All right, page 16. Oh man, if you can't balance this, it's time to drop the class. Talk to your counselors at lunch. We got a one, a one, and a one. It gives me 17 liters of oxygen and it asks for grams of sulfur. Okay, go forth, complete. Don't put 16 anywhere. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. You helped her like Livia. <laughs> if you don't want to get stepped on a basketball, don't fall on the floor. That's deep thought by Tom Davidson. Coop, 
You remember that. <laughs> That's your coach, in fact. It's pretty much one of the basics. <laughs> and the, <laughs> no. I, I, mean, I love it, but I would suck so bad. I know my limitations. Oh, I'd lose it. I, I would lose it. Yep. Are you announcing that you were in the How you remember that? Yeah, I do. Hmm. I've been told by a few refs to shut up, which is fair. And then I do. The guy at the book yells a lot, but he doesn't have a microphone. All right, 17 times 32 divided by 22.4. Head math, anyone want to estimate what that answer is? Around 24. <laughs> so what was it? <laughs> All right, good. I don't know, it's about one and a half times 17. You can figure that out because 32 is about one and a half of 22 ish. Okay, how many had 24 points something? Okay, this is not bad. Now that we know the process, right? We're hopefully used to it. Okay, there's a couple more. Cute. Already done. Cruz asked me about the, the short, dark haired girl that was really fast. I was like, um, Cruz. Is it really 280? What? What's the answer? Okay, I just didn't read very well, sorry. 186? All right. Is that it? There's like 51 where there's no space. All in favor of skipping 51. All right. I'm, I feel good about that. I shouldn't, but I'll lower my standards for a day. Um, all right. Are we ready? 
leaders to leaders is our last one. It's, it's more challenging? No. Leaders to leaders is the easiest of all of them in the long run. Right, Luke? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the long way to do it, which is the right way, and then the short way to do it, but you still get the right answer. You're welcome to do whichever one you feel like. You okay with that? So looking at this map, I'm going to go from leaders. Oh, I just, I wish I could change that standard one there. I'm going to go from leaders to leaders. Now, please look at the screen for a minute. Technically speaking, to get this to work perfect, I should go down because you always want to cross in the middle here. I should go over and I should go up. All right, that's the correct way, but why don't I just go straight across? The reason straight across doesn't technically work is because the units don't cancel. But if you will accept the fact that the units don't cancel, but it still gives you the right answer, you'll be fine. Thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to first show you the long way and then the short way. And looking at the long way, you'll realize why the short way does work in the first place. Okay, so I start with, it's probably down here. I start by balancing. This is a three, this is a two, and this is a two, right? Fair enough. Okay, and it says if 12 liters of O2 are used, how many liters of SO3? You with me? then just attack. The liters must be down here. And I know they're 22.4 liters um, O2 for every one mole of O2. Then coming down here, I know this must be moles of O2. Then I'm stuck. So over here, if the end unit is liters, then this must be 22.4 liters of SO3 for every one mole SO3. And that means this is mole SO3. Okay, then I have my two and my three. All right, what are you saying? Yeah, the 22.4s, if you look, you have 122.4 on the bottom and 122.4 on the top. So mathematically, this step cancels out and you're only left with the ratio of coefficients. Does that sort of make sense? So look right here. We, in the long way, in the long way, we went from liters to moles by going liters to moles. Then we went across with the ratio of coefficients by having the moles and the moles. That's the ratio of coefficients. Then I went up by going from my moles to liters. That was correct. But... The math cancels out. If it cancels out, I just use the ratio of coefficients. That's all you got to do. I'm fine either way, because some kids don't actually understand the short way, which is fine. So I have 12 times 2. Let me do my, my head math here. Let's say it's somewhere around 8. Ha! I, I learned that one. Mm -hmm. I was dead on, I think, on that one. Okay. Fair enough. If you like the short way, do it. If you don't, don't. Okay, this one's tricky to balance. How about I just help you on it? This is sugar breaking down into water and carbon dioxide. Anyone ever heard of that? If you're alive, you're doing that right this second. I still treat this as a combustion reaction. I'm gonna put a two. I'm gonna balance the carbons. I'm gonna take the number with H and put it in front of water. But, it's just a tiny bit more work. Look right here. This one, we don't usually have oxygen there, right? I already have how many oxygens on the left? 12. So I'm going to do everything I normally do, but then subtract 12 before I divide. You never have to do another one of these. So don't panic. But I have 12 plus 24, right? 36, I'm gonna subtract 12, 
that gives me 24. I divide in half, and that gives me 12. You ready to see why sugar's of the devil? If you have one sugar, then you have six, six, six. I knew sugar was bad for me, but now I know even more. Um, okay, dumb joke, whatever. What does it give me to start with? 25 liters of O2, right? I'm gonna go the short way. So I put the ratio of coefficients here. I put O2, what's in front of O2? A six, right? Good. Okay, what does it want me to solve for? Carbon dioxide. So it wants liters of CO2, but I'm not gonna put liters because I skip, I'm like skipping the two parts that cancel out. So I just put the, the where is it? The coefficient in front of CO2. And that's all you would do. If you don't like that, do it the long way. It will be fine. All right, so what we learned here is when we breathe, we, we respirate. This is the respiration equation, right? We, for every liter of oxygen we take in, we exhale one liter of carbon dioxide. It's a one-to-one -one exchange. Um, all right, the next two, we'll do them tomorrow. You're way ahead of everyone else. So tomorrow, I don't know what we're gonna do. Go ahead, Zito. Okay. All right, you guys are awesome.